I move things in a little closer here so you can see at what I'm doing. Um, the Amato water key is uh, preferred by a lot of professionals because it eliminates the bump that's inside the trumpet uh, that the normal water keys uh, cause, so they feel like it makes a difference in the way it plays. The, the problem is they do, when they get dirty, they stick. So, uh, but they take some maintenance uh, to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, <clears throat> there's really no way for you to clean this little valve. You, it, you have to take it apart. You have to have a special uh, tool here in the end to use. So, normally I found, I play them years, if I'm playing a trumpet every day, I never have one stick on like, They stick usually if I leave the horn aside for a few days. Uh, so the first thing you do is either use some valve oil or I use some like 3 in one oil and put that in, in, inside this little hole in the back and put a little bit here and, and oil the valve periodically uh, and that will make sure it doesn't stick. If for some reason it does stick, uh, I, I take just a, a paper clip and there, the hole here in the back, you just put this paper clip in and push. So if this is down, I just push it up with a paper clip. Uh, so the, these are, they're easier to maintain than a normal uh, water key. They, a lot of players think the trumpet plays better with this key. So it's been very popular. It's just the one issue because uh, you know, if I'm playing in a concert and it suddenly sticks, uh, then uh, it's not quite as easily remedied as a, a regular water key or something. So, um, so that's uh, that's the main um, maintenance issue with your Amato keys. One thing I forgot to mention too is if you want to save a lot of time um, cleaning your trumpet, uh, the best thing to do is to prevent it from getting dirty. What I do is uh, once a week is just clean your lead pipe out thoroughly, uh, go through it with a brush, uh, rinse it. You can look inside of it and usually tell if it's clean. You'll, you'll, you'll still see uh, spots of dirt and so forth. Uh, if it's not, so you just keep cleaning with the brush until it's clean. If you do that, uh, maybe additionally a tuning slide, uh, crook, uh, then your trumpet's not gonna get very dirty. You won't have good dirt going in the valves. Uh, or out through the horn, uh, and which after a while, um, the, you know, your horn's not going to smell good partly, and the, it, the bore of the trumpet keeps getting smaller and smaller because it's filling up with uh, debris, which is basically food particles from, from what we eat that comes out of our mouth. So, so you want to keep it clean. I'm going to tell you gross stories about things that happen with uh, dirty trumpets or what you see crawling out of them, but. Um, I found just, just cleaning that lead pipe uh, saves you a lot of cleanings. You don't want to get so dirty that you have to go to a, a technician shop to have it clean because as I said, there's some, uh, they use chemicals that I don't recommend to use on the trumpet. And of course they, they brush down the valves off and that, that can uh, hurt them. But um, Rodney's a great guy, great teacher. I really appreciate him uh, uh, getting the horn going for you because we had some issues. Uh, he played me. He played it for me, and it sounds the way I want it to sound. So I'm very happy with that. So, so I, um, from that standpoint, I didn't get to play it, but I'm sure I would have been very, very happy based on what I heard uh, from Rodney's performance. So, uh, just enjoy the trumpet a lot. I really appreciate your business and let me know how things are going.